Okay, and we are back. So, now that we got everything, we're gonna put some soil down, use the bean, and water it. And now we're gonna take a page from, uh, Jack and the Beanstalk and uh, go to the clouds using a Beanstalk. This actually will take a while. And there it goes. Hey look, a badge. Success! Look at that sprout. Now you can climb up to the cloudy climb. Best of luck, son. My spot seems to be getting less and less sunny. How disappointing. Oh, we did grow up a very tall plant. I'm not sure why Mario's walking here automatically. Like... Did the game not was not able to like just keep him in place? He has to like walk so he doesn't fall off, I guess. I always wonder about that with this particular sequence. Anyways, we're in the clouds. I wasted time, but I, hope, I think I can make it. Yep, we made it to the cloud. Hmm. We might need pear carry just in case here. Now we can make that jump. We get the super jump charge. So when we charge, it goes up by 3 instead of 1. But it costs more FP and more BP. Uh, situationally useful. You've seen me use the charge abilities before. But uh, let me double check my badges here. Oops. Multi-bounce, power bounce, and the standard stuff. Hmm. I'm actually not very good at guarding his thing, so I'm gonna actually take off my damage dodges and put on just the defense plus. And I'm really only gonna use one party member, so I'm actually gonna take a quick change off. Yeah, 4 FP instead of 1. But you do it in one turn, so that's still pretty solid. But, uh, let's see, hammer abilities for the most part will be pretty useless, but actually, double dip could help. Dodge Master, and a deep focus. You'll see why I'm using some of these in a few moments. So, up here at the very top. Okay, we need to jump. Now we need to jump, though. You're a man named Mario, and did you or did you not break one Puff Puff machine? What possessed you to do that? Completely ruined my plan to cover flower fields in clouds. You see, I was gonna turn this sunlight blasted place into a cloud covered paradise. But I can't expect a man of your intellect to understand. I must tell you, King Bowser ordered me to defeat you if you showed your face. I take you down even if it weren't a direct order. You cloud destroying pest? You can't save the star spirit. <laughs> Here it comes. So, this is Huff and Puff that we've heard about. He's a giant cloud monster. Mass HP is 60, attack power 5, so he's actually pretty beefy. Since this is one of the more end game bosses, let's say. The Thunder Attack is very dangerous. If you don't defend, you'll take massive damage. I believe this is either 7 or 8, maybe even 9. When the attack comes up, little clouds called tough, tough Puffs come out. Your number is based on the amount of damage that you do. If you leave a Tough Puffs, Huff and Puff will swallow them and restore his HP. So this is what gave me trouble when I was a kid, this particular mechanic about this boss fight. You need smart tactics. Because when I was little, obviously it was just big numbers. 
That's it. Oops. Let's see, hopefully I do this right this time. So, we can uh, tattle the tough buffs. These are tough buffs that break up when you damage Hubman Puff. HP up 1. They'll fly over and attack you directly. You have to shake them off. They will swallow, get swallowed, blah blah. Yep. Master Hubman Puff, I wish to pummel Mario. Permission to attack. Yes, take him. So this is another one of those moves. We have to actually have mash A to get out. So he's gonna absorb them back and restore how many? Oh nope, he's doing the different move. Alright, so we're switching to Lack and Luster now. Because with his Spiny Surge, he can actually take these all out for fairly cheap. Nice, they did it fast enough. That, that, that attack is easier to escape from as long as you have less than a couple... Uh, rough puffs. So he wastes his turn restoring HP, so he can be pretty easy as long as you are careful with your... So he also gets smaller, so doing the power bounce would be a little easier. As you notice, uh, since he already has... 10 huff and pu uh, little puff clubs around him, any more would actually get out of the destroyed, which is pretty nice. So we use... Uh, Lucky Lester here to take out the rest and just leave two standing. You asked for it. I have witnessed the full power of my storm. Master, leave him to me. Nope. Alright, just one damage. So yes, he charged himself, so I actually cannot jump on them because I do not have um uh, Let's see, we'll actually use this Electro Pop. And we'll use a Thunder Rage. Just to get rid of the basic ones. Nah, I forgot. So, even when they're not electrically charged, it doesn't matter. But we'll use Cloud Nine real quick. So, we'll see if this works out. Wow, nope, 11 damage. Yeah, ha, ha how do you like that? Whoa, you're truly the mightiest. Let's see, he has 16 health. I can probably take him out right now. There we go, see you later. Well, 31 star points. No, I cannot lose. And we murdered him. Well, that took a little longer than expected. All right, there we go. <sighs> a little dicey, uh, but we pulled it off. Yay. End of chapter. So it is that Mario and Party defeated Cruel Cloud Huff and Puff and set free the sixth star spirit. Thick clouds that once cast sh dark shadows have gone and Flower Fields is bathed in sunshine again. 
A single star spirit waits to be rescued, waits to take its place in the star sanctuary. Perhaps you will see Princess Peach soon, perhaps. Just wait and see. Kami Koopa, who watches impatiently from Bowser's castle, is waiting too. For you to try to save them. A little weird cut off there, but anyways, we save and continue because we're not even close to episode time. So back here. Hey, Twink. You know the sneaky parasol I got from that quiz show? I can change it to someone else when I use it, right? Really? So don't you think I can use it to get out of here? Yeah, I bet you can. Why don't you try it out? Press B. To transform. Alright, so we'll just get out of here real quick. So if we press B, uh, I don't think I can do anything here. If I walk slowly. I'm a guard! Hello, fellow guard. Say, have you heard that Kami Koopa is building some big thing above Princess Peach's castle? I bet it's a secret weapon. Hmm, interesting. On patrol? Very good. You can pass through. I don't need to patrol that room. Let me go in here real quick. We can deposit our jam and jelly that we got uh, last time we were here. And we actually need to go upstairs for now. I'm a troll, yes. Let me through. Hello. All quiet here. Me? Nervous? No, not me. You surprised me, that's all. Where's my relief already? My ship's in over ages ago. Listen, could you find that slacker? Please, I'm exhausted. I'm just standing here for hours and hours on end. He looks like this. Probably goofing off outside the castle somewhere. Here, take this and find him. So we get another castle key. It's the key to the entrance. You won't be able to get through the downstairs without it. I like how these guys don't care that a little star is just following me around. Happy little star named Twink. Unfortunately, Peach cannot dash. Even in this form. Alright, so, down here. These guys are still patrolling. Can I talk to them? I think I can, actually. Stop loitering! I'm not loitering. I'm doing a job. Uh, so sleepy. Just let me catch a quick nap. Don't tell anyone. Well, since he's happily sleeping, uh, let's just turn into him. We are now a clubber. We will whack people now. It seems to be locked. Can't open it. Come on. We're stuck here. Weirdly, though, we cannot use the parasol to float down. But anyways... Now we have to get all the way upstairs, so just to save you some time, I'll meet you there right now. Okay, we're almost there. Just gotta real quick talk to the guy at the door. Ah, finally, about time. You're late again. Do you not know how to read the shift schedule? I guess I'll let you go this time. I watch it, okay? Have a good shift. So I don't, don't goof off either. You're on thin ice, buddy. I don't understand what Peach's plan is here because, yeah, she was turning to she was turning into someone to maybe sneak out, but the the main way down is locked, and she's floating in space, so she didn't really have a plan. And we're actually just heading upstairs, which is the opposite of getting out right now. Here's the broken plane, the uh, window pane that we got uh, thrown out of. But we can go this way. Uh, 
And we're just heading to the roof of the castle for some reason. And over here. Hey, yeah. Her entry is prohibited by for unauthorized people, but you're already up here, so I guess it's too late. Stupid restriction, anyway. Okay, okay. Everything's finally ready. Even if Mario shows up with all the star spirits, we'll still be alright. I used to expect the worst. Absolutely affirmative. You're right, Kami Koopa. Hmm? You there. You're doing a fine job. Keep up the good... Oi, something's weird about you. You smell... Too nice. Yeah. Uh oh. Why you little princess Peach? Unbelievable out again. Guards, all of you, catch this little runaway. Take her back to her room. No. So we didn't really learn much other than Kami Koopa's building something. So just like in chapter three. We are also kind of stumped on where the next uh, Star Spirit is at. What a pleasure to meet you. My name's Kleva. Thank you for saving me. I'm for this gun so the flowers and flower fields can live peacefully once more. I feel that if you hadn't come, flower fields would never have seen the light again. Now, there's only one of us Star Spirits still trapped. Just one more, Mario. Here, please use my power as you continue your fight. And we get energy to 6, and we also get timeout, which is basically having the, um, the little stopwatch, but as a the star ability. You can stop enemies in time. No, you'll be able to use the power of 6 star spirits. If you use mine well, it should prove to be extremely helpful in battle. Don't become overconfident though, you must be careful. Power, and Bowser has power as well. Remember that even the stronger, it's even stronger enemies are with you. I hope our powers will help you so that you may help us. We're all depending on you. I'll go back to Star Haven now. I can't wait to get up there. I've been terribly worried about everyone. And there he goes. Congratulations, Mario. You saved the, jar the Star Spirit. Because of your efforts, Flower Fields is beautiful again. Thank you. It's worth living so long to meet a man of your stature. Please, come see me again. I'll be looking forward to it. So, at this point, we can just leave Flower Fields, but... There's one thing I need to do before I leave that I forgot to do. So, we'll just meander on over. Oh boy, I did not expect that. We need a blueberry. But, since uh, that guy's there... We're gonna save state real quick and take him on. So, give me a moment here. Alright, and he's down. And we get our level up for this. Yay. More FP, please. Alright, there we go. Get all the extra money, I guess. We may actually need it because um, the bad shop should have updated at this point. But also, I need to readjust my badges real quick. So, I we'll want to get rid of that, and we'll get rid of that to get quick change back on. Let's see, quick change, there it is. Let's see, I'm trying to remember where the place is though, because we need to give a blueberry to a specific area real quick. Ouch, I got smacked on that one. I also forgot to take off my defense plus and put on my two damage dodges, so I'll do that right now. But, uh, first. <laughs> so in this, there's a well. We even throw a blueberry in here. I'm just throwing stuff down into my well. Huh? It's the blueberry. I love these, thank you. I'll give you this in return. 
this is where you get another flower saver. Could have potentially been useful, but it's expensive, so I didn't even bother. Oops. So let's take off the defense plus and put on our damage dodges real quick. Alright. But now we'll actually leave flower fields. I'll take these berries real quick though, because I have space. Dang it! Like, these guys don't even give me star points anymore, so I should probably just have first strike or whatever, but... I'm gonna sub- I'm almost out, so... I'm not gonna bother. Let me go back to Toe Town, please. Alright, so I'm gonna show off, since we have a little bit of episode time left, I'm gonna show off something I've never shown, which is in the post office. We can read mail for our party members. We should have a lot, so let's start from the top. From Goomba. Here you go. Dear Goombario, how are you, my little cute Goombario? We're all doing fine here. Uh, your title ability has finally become useful. Stop by whenever you get a chance. Good luck. Goompa! Dear Goombario, how goes the adventure? You're being brave? Remember to relish your time out in the wide world. Grow wise from your travels. I wish to the stars that your adventure will prove to be a fruitful one. You can drop on in on us old folks now and again. I'm looking forward to it. I'll just bring one more, but... Because this, this one... Goombario. You were a lot stronger than you look. We figured you were so just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Prove yourself to us. And you showed us that being good is as smart as being strong. So when you come back, do you think we could be friends? Please say yes. We'll be waiting. The Goomba Bros. No thanks. So I could take the time to read all of them. But it's a lot to read. I should have maybe spread them out throughout the chapters. But it's okay. But uh, let's take a visit over here. Nope, you got nothing yet. Or maybe you don't have anything anymore. Who knows? But something I have not done in a while... Mysterious file here. Reports from bizarre interdimensional door. Another world, same story. Populated by flowers in Minty's garden. Should be no surprise to learn that Bowser's goons were causing trouble there. But guess what? Our Mario did an extermination of pests in that garden by kicking Mario's uh, Bowser's underlings out of the world. That's flower power. Underground news. XSS and balls are hearts. Did you know that? Their secret's now out. Man, this gossip blobbing toad really is just giving it all to everybody. Well, let's see, how many items are we... Uh... Never used a shroom stick. Could have maybe used it. If you talk to Colorado here. Oh boy! Ahead is pleasant path, but can't see Koopa, it's blocking it. It appears he's quite strong. I say a strong brute indeed. This is a bit of a sticky wicket. There's not I can do. The only course of action is to, for me to search for a secret passage to Koopa Village. Um, I can show you if you want. I already know a secret way in. Anyways, we're taking a nap real quick. And we're gonna piss it. Let's see, how many star pieces? We only got uh, 19. That's not bad, but oops. No thanks. Hey, look who it is! Oh, it's you! You came at such a good time! There's a guest waiting for you. Nice to meet you! I come from Starborn Valley. Starborn Valley is in the Shiver region. A chill place, far to the north, at the very end of the earth. Mer Lee, who hails from here, said that he had something important to tell you, Mario. Mer Lee of Starborn Valley is my son, Mario. It seems he's calling for you. 
if he's searching for you, he can be sure something important is afoot. You must go to Starmore Valley. Do not delay. Yes, please, Perry. I will run ahead and take tidings of you to Merli. I think somewhere below Toto is a pipe connected to Shiver City. Starbomb Valley is located quite near Shiver City. Mario, hurry to meet my son. He waits in Starborn Valley. So, we already got our objective and we, once again, we have to head to the Total Tunnels. But I'll leave that for next time. Right now we're just gonna take a quick trip to Falling Star Summit real quick to pay our boy Merlot a visit to exchange some star pieces. Not only that, I also need to pick up that uh, very nice jam and jelly. You think I forgot about it, huh? Oh, I have too many items. Um, we'll eat this berry. Yay! There we go. Hello, Merlot. Yes, let's see what do you still have. Let's see, money, money could potentially be handy, but eh. HP drain. I would actually like the... This doesn't exist in this game, but FP drain is actually a pretty useful batch, but it's underrated. I'll see if I can show it off on the sequel when I get around to playing it. Uh, we got payoff. Chill out, feeling fine. Peekaboo. Let's see, 16. You know what? Let's see. If we take healing fine, we can take either one happy flower or one happy flower. Or happy heart, I mean. Or we can take healing fine and peekaboo. Well, I'm using Gombario, so peekaboo is relatively useful, but I'm not gonna take it. So we'll actually take happy heart. Happy Flower. And Chill Out. So Chill Out keeps you from being hit by a first strike and performing a first strike. So all battles start neutral, basically. No advantage to anyone. Even if they're, the enemy in the field is doing an attack animation, let's say like the beast actually smacked me, it would not count if I had Chill Out. Which could have been useful if I went for it, but it's fine. There's just one more thing I might consider doing before we cut off the episode, just so it's not exactly 30 minutes. I'm probably a tiny bit over at the moment, but we'll, we'll give a give a little extra here. We'll go back home for a second here. Hey, look at Luigi. He's just hanging out. No fun for you. Boy, hang out. Why, hi, was nice. Such a great view and everything. Uh, never mind. Say, are those new boots? They look really flashy. Now you'll be a better jumper. What's that, Mario? You need something? Yes. He what? Mr. Koopa Koop wants to get my autograph? Me? He wants to sign me. Want me to me to sign something? Whoa, cool! I'm flattered. I guess maybe I'm a little bit of a celebrity, huh? Wait a second. I'll write it right now. There you go. My autograph. Give my regards to Koopa Koop. Okay. And we get a Luigi Scribble. I guess Luigi wanted to be fancy and wrote it like diagonally upwards because I can I can kind of see that saying Luigi, but anyways. That's a favor for Koopa Koot that uh, I hadn't done yet. If we look here. We've only collected half the star pieces and most of the badges. 
Unfortunately, I missed one quiz, one quiz uh, question, and we got over half the recipes. I've only been hit by a first strike 20 times though. Not bad. And our record is 13 power bounces. But before I go, we can read Luigi's diary. Page one. Once again, my brother went on an exciting adventure. Once again, he went alone. So unfair. Remember those carefree plays when we played golf and tennis and had parties? I remodeled the house and made a secret basement. It's the perfect place to write in you, my secret diary. I heard that a ghost appeared in Toad Town. It was big. Really big. And it had red eyes, giant gaping mouth, and a mustache. Because you're my secret diary, I'll tell you the truth. Yeah! I hate ghosts. What will I do if it appears at night? Come back, Mario. I'm scared. Yikes, I can feel something behind me. Ah, I can't look back. No, get away. I think I'll be safe if I don't freeze in fear. I'll just shut my eyes and take five steps back. And then I'll jump dash into bed. Here I go. Check out here in my house the other day. I found him asleep on my bed. Can you believe it? I ran after him, but it's way too fast. I heard that a lot of shy guys appeared in Toad Town. Supposedly they came from the shy guys toy box somewhere in town. Toy box. Who am I seeing that? Maybe they have a Nintendo 64. Cheeky. The whole group of my family visited me today. They said they could borrow and take care of my brother. Then they gave me a souvenir. It was a goom nut. A special treat from the village. It looks so yummy. I ate it without telling my brother. My up increased by three. Three. You think he'll notice? Yeah, you get chubbier, dude. I heard that my brother went to Laba Laba Ida on a tuna. Unbelievable, so unfair. I, I, I want to ride on a tuna too. I heard that some Yoshi kids got lost and my brother saved them. I bet Yoshi kids are about as the cutest thing around. I'm a bit jealous of my brother. More than a bit. I heard a rumor that I actually have lots of fans. Wow, what a great news. To live up to their, their expectation, I want to play and lead in an adventure. Of course, my name would have to be in the title. That'd be sweet. Hmm. I wonder if Intelligent Systems actually use this this particular diary entry and something that happens in the sequel. Now that I think about it, I know that will never happen. Oh, well, you never know, Luigi. I think it might have. I heard that the door up here in Tota. They say it leads to power fields. Guess lots of flower spirits live in the flowery place. Flower spirits. I bet their souls are as beautiful as the prettiest flowers. Well, that's kind of poetic, I guess. Alright, and we can check our own mail here, but I'll show off that next, some other time, not next time. Anyways guys, I'll leave you off there, and thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.